You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. We had a pretty nice day today, although temperatures were cooler than what we saw this week. This is looking from the east, Los Molinos camera out into the valley and in the direction of the sunset this evening. It was pretty nice, although no clouds to add any texture to the sky. That will change later on tonight. We have a weak system moving in this evening into tomorrow morning. A few showers tonight and into Sunday, but most places will be drying out to start the work week, although with some chilly morning. So here's what we have tonight. The clouds remaining pretty much absent from most of the valley by 8 p.m., although starting to fill in as we head into the early morning hours So stopping the clock at 4 a.m. We'll start to see some rain in parts of the valley. This is a very weak and really not ex a system not expected to do too much this evening. Most of the rain we will see will be concentrated right around to Hama County as it's coming from the north. That's just where the air is getting forced up and over some of the foothills and the mountains right around this bend in the foothills right just north of Chico. So that's something we'll keep an eye on tonight, but not a lot of rain is expected to fall from this. So by tomorrow afternoon, most places will be dry and if not clearing out, by tomorrow afternoon and we continue to see the clouds disappear completely for everybody by tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Snow levels though by this time will drop from 2,500 to 3,500 feet down to around 2,000 feet and that's after a lot of the moisture has left our region. So rain totals with this as I mentioned most of the rain is expected to fall right around to Hama County up to three quarters of an inch in some places, but that is going to be the exception rather than the rule. Most places will get less than that and most places will get less than a quarter of an inch. So here's what we have for winds though. That's really going to start picking up tomorrow. Gusts coming out of the north after that system moves through by about 10 a.m. Gusts up to about 35 to 45 miles per hour at times in the valley. Stronger at some of the peaks in the mountains. That'll last well into Sunday evening and into Monday morning as we do have a wind advisory in effect as a result for everybody in the valley, the coast mountains, and in some parts of the southern Cascades. We do see gusts, as, as I mentioned, possible up to about 40 to 45 miles per hour, and this will last from 1 p.m. Sunday to 1 p.m. on Monday. High or lows tonight, I should say, bottoming out in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Some places in Tehama County may be a little warmer given the rain sticking around, but highs tomorrow, low to mid 50s. This is a cooler air mass sticking around, which means we will be a little cooler. But windy conditions coming up on Sunday, highs topping off by the middle of the week into the upper 50s. However, look at those overnight lows getting into the upper 20s, so we will have some frosty mornings on the way, but there is another chance for another system to roll in coming in for the end of next week, but there is some uncertainty in the timing of that, so it won't be a lot, but it's enough to just give us a little bit of rainfall to close out the work week. Upper 20s going to be chilly. Thanks, yeah, Patrick. Get the ice scrapers ready. <laughs> we'll be right back.